name is Mike, and this is neither the beginning nor the end of my story. I'm not quite sure where to begin. So I guess I'll just start with the pandemic. Just before the pandemic started, my grandfather and my best friend passed away in the same week. I think it was four days apart, something like that. So I decided to make a change, a big one. essential businesses in his state to reduce their workforce to zero. Colorado's Governor Jared Polis is calling this next step safer at home. During lockdown, I spent most of my time doing research and looking at vans and weighing out the pros and cons of this lifestyle. So on July 3rd, 2020, my grandfather's birthday, I went and bought the van. The moment I got the van home, I started working on it right away. I remember being very nervous at the beginning of the project, mainly because I wasn't really sure what I was doing and really what to expect. But every day, I continued to work, day in and day out. This van is going to be my home for the foreseeable future. So I wanted to make sure that it was going to be comfortable and functional enough for my lifestyle. I even spent several months living in the van while I was working on it. Which actually turned out to be a good motivator throughout the beginning of the build process. I was even able to add a couple features to the van that I thought were pretty unique. The most unique feature I wanted to incorporate in the build was a couple of rod bolts on the inside of the van. Take in mind that I had never done any of this stuff before. I'd never worked with wood before. Never even used some of these power tools before. There were definitely some low points throughout the build, but I tried to stay focused and just push through as much as I could. By the time I was getting close to the end of the build, I found myself losing motivation. There were times when it felt like the build was just going to last forever. Since I was working on the van by myself, I didn't really see many friends, and my relationship with my family wasn't in the greatest shape. I think it was partially because they didn't really understand what I was trying to accomplish by transitioning into this lifestyle. I also think part of it was because the build took a lot longer than I was expecting. Originally, I thought the build was going to take, you know, only a couple months. After 11 and a half months of hard work and blood, sweat, and tears, the build was finally done, and I was ready to hit the road. Always buckle up. <laughs> 